Okay, let's add some detail to our lemon now that we have a texture on top of it and the lemon, it looks pretty good. Uh, we want to add the stem where the stem goes and then there's a little label that says lemons over here. So we're going to do that um, by um, uh, making a new layer. In this case, if I turn the layer off, you can see, turn on, off, on, off, on. It should be a little dark area there too probably, but you get the idea. Okay. So I'm going to turn that off and make a new layer over top of it. And this will be, um, let's double click on that and let's call it um, detail. So in this case, I'm going to add the stem part. To do that, I'm going to zoom in. Zoom in. Think about the shape that it is right there. Maybe it's just an oval. It's pretty much an oval shape. Rotate a little bit. Put it where it needs to be. Move it over, and that looks pretty good. Uh, maybe we can steal the colors by using the eyedropper. And then um, let's make it a little brighter. And even add a little gradient mesh to it. And let's make that a little darker in the middle there. Well, actually, it's more along the edges here, huh? Has this kind of oval looking colors that go around like that inside. Let's see if we can make it look like that. There's a kind of a dark red there. Let's use the eyedropper. Actually, I wanted to put that in the middle. Yeah. Put a couple of those in there. Just using the eyedropper and selecting, using the white arrow, select the point, use the eyedropper, select the color. Use the white arrow, select the point, use the eyedropper, select the color. So, something like that. That's okay. Just like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Put that over top of where it should be. Let's turn on the lemon underneath it. Okay kind of looks like a stem should be there. If we want to make it look like it blends better, we could cheat a little bit, add a little, duplicate it. Remember we were duplicating it before in the, in the blueberry one. And then select the one in the background and make it pure black. And then put the other one right over top of it. Like that. It gives it kind of a, just offset a little bit. That's one way to cheat that there. It's a kind of a 3D look. It's okay. Let's let's do our, our label. That'll ma really make it look good. So let's see the label right here. Boy, that's going to be kind of hard to do that label in it. Because it's cause it, cause it kind of the text kind of blends to it and stuff like that. So um, I don't know. Let, let's just try anyway. So we'll use our pen tool. Oops. I didn't want to do that. We'll use our pen tool. And uh, let's do our our white part first. I'm not doing the, the perfect oval because this is this is not a quite perfect oval because of the angle that it's on. And let's make that white. Okay, let's move it away for now. And then let's do the blue one. It doesn't have to be perfect. Didn't we select a color for this blue somewhere, didn't we? I think we did. There it is. Okay, so we have a blue color for that. I can straighten this out a little bit. Okay, so let's zoom in. Let's get a little closer to it. And then we can kind of adjust it so it's a little better. Maybe change the stroke or turn off the stroke. Whoops, I didn't want to turn that off. I turned off the fill. Let's turn off the stroke. It's the bottom black line there. Okay, so we have our blue blue label here. Uh, and then we have lemons, which is in a sans serif font, and it's kind of kind of distorted along there. So let's see if we can make that text there. So if we use the text tool, we're using the T. Let's click and type in lemons. L E M O N S. And let's change the font. Uh, again, this is sort of a sans serif kind of font right here. Uh, to change the font of some text is under Windows, um, Type, 
I think we did this in the last lesson. We learned how to use some of the letters. And let's use, uh, um, we'll just use times, T for times. Uh, it's kind of bold. And then I guess that's good enough for now. Let's make it the blue. And then let's distort it because it has to fit in that area there. Uh, to distort it, there is all kinds of different effects we can do um, under object. Uh, I don't want to do perspective. Make make with warp. Make with mesh. Make with mesh. So it's to distort it. No, it's not gonna give me what I want, is it? Let's see. It does distort it, but it's gonna take too long. Okay. I don't know if I can make this letters kind of fit in here because I just don't have the time to do it. But I'm sure if we, we, we spend some time, there's a mesh option here that we could really distort the letters and get them to fit just right. Um, and, and I was just using a mesh option. I don't know. It's not going to fit in there. I don't know. Yeah, that doesn't look right. but. In this case, how about we just delete it? No label needed. How about we just look at our lime lemon the way it is? It looks okay. If we turn off the photo, you can really see it. It kind of looks like a lime, lemon, doesn't it? So a little bit of texture on top, as well as uh, the gradient mesh. Um, practice, practice the texture. Um, if I save this, uh, we have a blueberry array, right? we call this lemon. If I wanted to put these two together, I can actually bring the blueberry and the lemon together. How I could do that is I can go under, remember the file place? I can actually place my blueberry in here. And so we have a blueberry. So you can actually place one illustrator file into another. So we have a blueberry and a lemon. Uh, let's do one more. We'll do a banana.